a very good evening and om shanti to all of you listeners welcome back to your own channel see the soul the truth lies within and now i am recording the 3 and 30th day of a godly blessing i hope you have heard the yesterday's blessing which you must have missed because of the heavy snowfall which we experienced in darjeeling and we didn't have internet to load it up and make it reach out to you so anyways let's go ahead with today's blessing what is supreme god father have to tell us and what are the valuable jewels of knowledge which we can learn from this blessing so the heading says may you be able to face all adverse situations with your own original stage by practicing of the avyakt stage avyakt means like an angel angelic stage so how do we face all our adverse situations by being an angel or thinking like an angel let's explore that baba says when you create the habit of practicing the avyakt stage that means an angelic stage what does an angel do an angel doesn't have any attachment to worldly things an angel doesn't have any desires of worldly things an angel is not looking for doing some benefit to others on the basis of what do i get in return for that whether it's name fame whether it's wealth they don't have any form of thoughts so i hope you understand what is an angel an angel is not just that white light being floating in the air it's any human being who doesn't have any worldly desires for doing any benefit to human kind any human being who doesn't count their self value or, or self affirmations on the basis of what they have achieved in this physical world on a worldly basis but they are angelic because they are lighter in their mind they are no they have no attachments no ego no jealousy or no desires of the world but they are here to serve humanity they are beautiful souls in physical costumes ready to help the world without any of their own desires so they are known as angels or the avyakt stage then god says is you will then be able to face all situations with your own original stage that means if you feel like an angel lighter in your mind only then can you face any situation this habit will save you from having to go to court what court court of god so when you make this your natural practice and nature there will be the natural calamities this is because when you adopt the power to overcome all situations and face everything which this kalyug or the iron age world is going to bring out to you the curtains will open which curtains the curtains of the reality of where this world is going towards we say that man is proposing and god is disposing yes that's very true man proposes technology man proposes going to moon god says my child the dirty iron aged world where people have become extremely corrupt and sinful is supposed to be destroyed so i am the god generator g o operator and d god destroyer so be ready to face the fact when the curtain is removed and you realize that the end of the days is coming that means the mahakal or the time of kayamat or the end of days is just ahead in front of you then the curtains will be removed and you'll you'll either have the power of truth and purity to face those calamities which will come that means world destruction or you won't have that power now how do you get that power how do you realize that you are supposed to be like an angel who doesn't have any attachments to worldly things because when the natural calamities or the end of the world comes people will hardly be able to get connected to god but they'll be more attached to their property when they see that getting destruct destroyed in the earthquakes all they be more concerned about their wealth being taken away by the storms by the tsunamis by the typhoons and their own, own near and dear ones being snatched away from them by the natural calamities or the nuclear wars so god says what do you want to face and in what stage will you be able to face all these things but if you think right now that you won't be able to face these things then you need to learn the raj yoga meditation where you learn how to control your five senses by controlling your subtle mind intellect and 
making them stronger to face all these situations and to become like an angel who doesn't have any attraction to this world who doesn't have attraction or attachments of things and of people to this world but is still loving to others how do you do that when the curtain opens up you can learn it at brahma kumari's gold special university do visit it now let's go ahead for this baba says what do you need to do you need to have complete distaste for all your old habits sanskars and situations so any situation which comes in where we have expectations from people from things god says have distaste if you lose money if you lose property if you lose something have distaste because you have achieved me you have achieved the truth these things are going to as it is go away in a couple of seconds they'll be snatched away from you what you have been building for years will be gone in a few seconds when the calamities they strike when the third world war strikes everything will turn topsy turvy so are you ready for that god says now how do we become ready for that you'll have to visit the goldie spiritual university and learn the basic knowledge of what is lying ahead of us in the future so have a blessed day and om shanti to you and in advance have a beautiful new years om shanti abhi